it's bubonic zombie welcome back to criminal minds almost fudge my words there it's been a long day <laughs> so we got uh the resident record and found out that a man named oscar burns i believe it was um went into that room where the device was stolen yeah we got to find this guy and um so we need to ask garcia about that so let's go back to the police station and um ask her about that record hi hodge i was able to discover that the last person in the room with the triggered spark gap before it was stolen was a resident at the hospital here's his information good work i'll run this through with garcia okay so now we're playing as hodge here you go can you run this profile of one of the hospital residents okay so this is the first time it's only between two people it's usually the entire team that's going through here so Ew. So it looks like our guy has a thing for prostitutes. Okay. That doesn't help us so much with the terrorist profile. Anything else? There aren't many terrorists named Burns in the database. You sure he's your primary suspect? Cause he's not shaping up to be a very good su super villain. Maybe he's just never been caught. Think. He's a resident. The title comes from the idea that residents are always at the hospital. He was perfectly positioned to steal equipment. True. Morgan was telling me that John Lee's boss likes to stay hidden. There we go. It would make sense for the real leader to be intelligent and have a professional day job. The perfect cover. We still don't know anything about where he is, though. Summary! He's done some bad things, but no terrorism record. He's in the hospital all the time. He is perfectly positioned to steal equipment. If John Lee's boss likes to play hidden, likes to stay hidden, perhaps being a hospital resident with no record is a perfect cover for this guy. Okay. Hmm. That profile, that profile revealed remarkably little about our man. Maybe we should look in his locker to see if we can gather more info on this Burns character. Okay. So, to the hospital as Hotch. Um, going through the locker, so... Oh! Are you Oscar Burns, local hospital resident? I don't have a residence. My home is the street. What do you want? Sorry, sir. I need to confiscate that coat. It may belong to our primary suspect in the investigation. You some kind of cop or something? Where are your credentials? There you go. Here, take it. Let me freeze in the cold. Where did you get this? Smells like it's been in the garbage. One man's trash and another man's treasure. Now I've got a whole pile of treasures in this alley. That's where I found it. Now if you excuse me, I'm gonna try to warm up. That's depressing. Oh, there he is. It would take me hours to dig through all without some sort of tool through all that without some sort of tool okay you took my coat already you want everything else to have too do you mean that pile of trash behind you 
put more. Do you have a wheel and there it is okay I need a tool to dig through the rest of this okay good luck dude okay how's your friend dr. Reed doing okay she's persistent gotta give her that Okay. Wheel. There's a wheel. And there's an inhaler. We can give it to that bi biker guy. Okay. Let's go in the locker room. Okay. Hidden object scene. Whoa, it's a lot. Okay. Padlock, a heart light bulb hanger. There's a padlock. Let's see, that looks like a shovel. Just right here. Arrow soap. There's some soap. Not sure what that is. That looks like hammer. Spoon goggles and an air freshener. Looks like an air freshener. There's a hammer. Spoon. There's a question mark to unscramble the word and bolt cutter there we go like safety goggles okay we have a hammer and a shovel good now we can dig up that trash heap in the alley and see if there's evidence here so, those planetary symbols look familiar Okay. I need to find the resident locker combination. Is it those symbols? Uh. Okay. else in this room okay so the first thing I want to do is give the inhaler to the biker because he mentioned that earlier it's the biker in the bar that has a broken arm or at least his arm is in a sling um <gasps> have an asthma attack. I left my inhaler at the hospital. <sighs> there you go. So, how did you break that arm? Climb out a hospital window by any chance? I got into a fight. Why are you looking at me like that? Hey, wait. Am I under investigation? Okay. Who were you fighting with? Some guy over some girl. I don't know. I was drunk. He was nothing though. Just some skinny scrub doctor. I won the fight alright, but I got thrown out of the bar. That's what broke my arm. Doctor. Was his name Oscar Burns? Oscar Burns, maybe? You don't really take names in a fight. We're looking for a man by that name. We think he could be engaging in terrorist activities. A terrorist? Glad I won then. Who knew our next convict would be America's next upholder of justice? That's lovely. You been to jail? What for? Illegal arms trafficking, but I've served my time. Cleared it. 
Did you ever supply it to John Lee? John? He's my brother. I'm Edward Lee. Is he in trouble again? Is that what this is about? Well, isn't that convenient? Summary, Edward broke his arm in a bar fight with a hospital resident over a girl. Edward has been in jail for light arms trafficking. His brother is John Lee, aka Eagle. John's in pretty big trouble and I have to make sure you're not linked to it. Can you stay nearby, somewhere I can find you if I have more questions? Sure. But I haven't touched a rifle since the day I was arrested. And if he's in with, the with terrorists, I didn't have anything to do with it. My brother's his own trouble. Okay. Mm oh, what's back there? No. Oh. It's like an apartment complex? It's too dark to see anything here. We should replace that light. It's locked. Okay. Well, this guy said, um, this bar was his home. And I know he meant that, like, you know, he feels at home here, but probably literally. If his, if there's, like, yeah, this is like apartments. It's probably his, where he sleeps is somewhere in these apartments, and he owns the bar that's downstairs. That's really neat. Okay, but we have a shovel to go through the pile. Okay. Hello again, dude. Not exactly digging for buried treasure, but let's see what we've got. Okay. Huh. This looks like a resident's back from the hospital. May belong to Burns. Keys. This is his bag. The key might be to his for his room. Can I talk to you for a minute? Okay, interrogating hom homeless man. We're searching for an Oscar Burns, a possible terrorist. Can you tell me how you had his coat, his bag, and the key to his apartment? The same way I get at anything. I found them. To be fair, that does sound a little too convenient. Can you tell me where you found Burns' belongings? It was all in the trash here. Why didn't you use the key to go into his apartment? Because I'm not a criminal! Fair point. Have you ever seen Burns? I've seen him around. He's a generous man, unlike some people. He even talks to me like a human being, but I haven't seen him since I found his stuff. Okay. When did you find the coat and bag? I probably found them late last night. Before midnight. Interesting. It's right after the triggered spark gap was taken from the hospital. Look, there was someone in the alley that night. Couldn't recognize them because it was dark and they took off towards the bar as soon as they saw me. When the person left, the bag and coat were sitting there. Are you sure it wasn't Oscar who left them? I, I can't be sure. But I told you he's a nice man. He's not a terrorist. Leave it to the people like you to assume he is. Thank you for your time. Summary! He found Burns' belongings in the trash in the alleyway. He found them late last night before midnight. That is right after the triggered spark gap was taken from the hospital. He saw someone in the alley that night, but it was too dark to tell who. The person left Burns' belongings. So there was someone in the alley who left Burns' things behind. I better go to Burns' apartment now and see if I can find out what happened last night. Okay. Take care, dude. 
Okay. Apartment 19. Okay. One of Burns' lab coats is missing. Coat. There we go, number three! This is the missing coat. Was Burns himself the shadowy person in the alley that night? Okay, hidden object soon. Anything else we can look at? This TV didn't knock itself off the stand. We do know for a fact that Oscar was fighting Edward last night. Is this even their signs of struggle? Okay. So we have a camera that looks like envelope. Remote stopwatch skull, which is right there. A napkin. Sure what that is. Um teacup donut open book. Um, blood times five, and a vase. Where's the vase? Oh, blood as in blood splatter. Okay. There we go. Like an old timey camera. We have rope. This blood leads right up to the window. What was the result of the struggle? Who was doing the struggling? Okay. All very good questions. It's quite a bit of blood. Where this blood belongs to could still be alive. Blood and open window. There was a struggle. The loser could be down there. Okay. Looks like we need to head outside. But where to? What are our tasks? Find the residence or the residence locker. Find the locker code. Okay. What's the nail polish for? Okay, so we can't we still talk to him. How about a game of cards? Take your mind off everything for a bit. I'm busy at the moment. Okay. Friendly guy! Oh, wait! Rope to get down there. Okay. Going spelunking? There we go. This looks like a secure spot. Wonder why I can't just walk to the back of the alley, but okay. It's pretty dark here. We should find some lights. Okay. Just what we need. Rusted shut. Smash it up with a hammer? No. Okay. You can use the sharp side. But there's a hidden object seen over here. Okay, we have baseball cheese grater, which is right there. And golf club is there. Saw is like a boot. Yep, boot. Crowbar keys. Light bulb bottle, some gear, lunchbox, and a walkie talkie. Okay. Well, there's a lunchbox. Light bulb. Where's the crowbar? There it is. Okay. 
probably use that crowbar. And there's the bottle. Probably use that crowbar to open the locker. Yep. And the incandescent bulb. So we can see the other room. Let's see. Crowbar! Oh. C A A C E. E C E. Gotta turn all of them on. B activates B and get D D A C. But E is E C D. E C D. C E N D A and C is C E. There we go. Okay, and oh, wow. Wow, those are tire tracks. Wow, I did. I expected a body, but wow. Okay. Burns. This is grim. Did Edward do this? Let's search the body to make sure he doesn't have the spark gap. Okay. Let's just step a bit closer. Well, look at there. Edward Lee. A ring in Edward's inhaler. This before the girl Burns and Edward were fighting over last night? We should talk to Edward about it. If Burns was so close to this NF woman that he was going to pose, then where is she now that her boyfriend's dead? Were Burns and Edwards fighting over NF at the bar last night? No spark yet. Looks like this was a false trail. The unsub must be working on the nuclear bomb somewhere close enough to set decoys for us. That is... Oh, yeah, again, wow! Of course it starts raining. Okay. This officer needs to know where you found that body ASAP. Heard you found a body. We need you to give us any evidence you collected stat before you help us narrow down the body's location. Okay. Can you give him the ring? Alright. Now where did you find the body? <laughs> Let's construct a map. Okay. There we go. Let me draw it for you. Photo of ring. Okay. Add it to the crime scene now. There's a photo of the evidence in case you need to question anyone about it. The resident was a decoy and the real unsub was probably nearby with the bomb. I need to tell the others. You stay on the trail. That weasel. Don't worry, I'll stiff him out. Okay, now we're playing as Rossi. Okay, so our task. Search the resident's locker and find the locker code and ask Edward about NF. Okay, so... First thing I want to do before we ask Edward about the ring um, let's see if the bulb will be able to illuminate that door. Oh, I can't. Just talk to him. I figured if I help you guys enough, you won't send me back to jail. So what do you need, Agent? This! That guy you got into a fight with the other day is dead now. He was carrying this engagement ring, probably for the girl you were fighting over. Where were you last night? I know this looks bad for me, but I was at the hospital. I don't even know that girl's name. Isn't there some FBI way to prove my alibi? 
Since you seem helpful, I'll look at the hospital. If I can prove you were there at the time of the murder and theft, murder and theft, then you're off the hook. Okay, so we need to double check at the hospital. Oh, where is the nurse? Okay, well, we're going to look for the nurse and whoever can help us in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye!